to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, paying off debt, and my very exciting journey from full-time teacher to full-time Etsy shop owner and YouTuber. So if that is something that you think you would like to see, then please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you along on this journey. In today's video, I'm going to be stuffing my sinking fund envelopes and my cash envelopes for the third week of February. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, starting with birthdays. So last week we got up to 110 and then I gave Logan his 100 to pay for his um, Oculus that he wanted for his birthday. Now we actually end up spending a total of, let's see, it was $32 for taxes and $33 for a game for him, so $64. So we end up spending another $64 on his birthday total. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> I have 10 here. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. Right? Give me some ideas, guys. I don't know. I, what I did is I just use our miscellaneous account for that. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. But I, I, I would love to hear your ideas. So today we are going to add um, $5. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I could save up the 60, what was it, did I say 60, so $65, I could save that up to deposit back into our account, or I could just call it even and consider it a miscellaneous expense. I'm just, I'm not sure what to do. I'm so confused. Okay, so that should bring us up to $15. Okay, moving on to car maintenance. So this this past week, I washed my car and it was $10 and I just took it out of my miscellaneous, but I have the money here under car maintenance. So um, one of my viewers suggested that I use car maintenance money for things like car washes and I'm like, yeah, why didn't I ever think of that? So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to deposit that into back into our family budget. So we're going to take out $10 and I'm just going to make a note here that this was for a car wash. Um, so that'll bring us down to 485. So now I'm going to take this ten dollars and I'm going to put it back here. Anytime I deposit I need to deposit money back into my bank account, I put it back here. And then when I go to the bank once a week, whatever needs to be deposited back into the bank, I just do that at one time. Okay. Now, I'm also going to deposit $10 today, so that brings us back up to $4.95, and it might seem a little redundant to take out $10 and add $10, but I want to keep track of what I'm doing, so that's why I'm tracking it. So that we should have $4.95. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Okay, car registration. Last week we took out all the car registration money and we paid off our car registration for the year. So we're starting a new card and um, I've changed it to $5 a week now because our car registration is cheaper than um, it used to be. And that's because we had a newer vehicle before and now we have an older vehicle, so our car registration is cheaper. So today we're going to add $5, bringing our grand total to $5. Okay, Christmas, so let's see. As of last week, we were at 125, and today we're gonna add 15. So let me first make sure I have 125 here. 20, 40, 60, 81, 110, 120, 125. Today we will add 15. Bringing our total up to, we say 130, 140. Okay, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 130, 135, 140. By the way, everything you see in today's video can be found in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description box below this video. Okay, moving on to memberships. So I was depositing $5 a week for this, but I'm now depositing $10 a week because my Amazon membership has gone up. So we are now depositing 10 a week. So um, we should have 75 right here. And today when we add 10, we should end up with 85. So I'm first gonna count and make sure I have 75. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. Today we will add 10. And now we should have 85. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. Okay, moving on to vacation. So um, we're trying to save up about $1,000 for our vacation that we're gonna take this summer and to Michigan. And um, 400 of that is gonna be to board our dogs. So we're getting really close to that. So as of last week, we had 370. So one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. And today we're going to add 25. Bringing our total to 395. 20 and five. One, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, okay. <laughs> By the way, these gorgeous envelopes are for my friend Aisha Cash Envelopes, and I do have a link to her Etsy shop in the description box below. Okay, for VET, we should have 210. So here's 1, 150, 2, 210. And today we're going to add another $10, bringing our new total to 220. One, one fifty two to ten to twenty. Okay, garbage, we only do that once a month and it's or and we did that last week, so we're good on garbage. And then iPad. So this is for David's iPad that we've been saving up for. So we should have one twenty five, so one twenty twenty five. And today we're going to add another 25, bringing our total up to 150. So 20 and five. One, 20, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so I have a new um, envelope here for homeschool. This actually is gonna be part of our savings challenge, which will be in tomorrow's video. So if you wanna see how I'm going to be stuffing this envelope, make sure you come back tomorrow and check that out. Okay, moving on to our cash envelopes. First, David is going to get $20, so I'm gonna set that aside to give to him later. I am gonna get $20 for spending money as well. Let's see how much I have left from last week. I have $8 left from last week, so now I have $28. Logan is going to get five. And last week he spent all his money on his new Oculus and he has been so happy. He loves it so much. And you know, I am so proud of him. Yes, we did give him $100 um, for birthday money to add towards his goal, but he saved up 200 on his own. So 
that is really amazing for, you know, for a little kid to do something like that. Okay, um, food. So we are currently doing a cashless food envelope. Sorry, I just, this is throwing me off. I'm like, why do I have an extra $20? I, but I think I know why, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so for food, we deposit, we just deposited 150. That is going to bring our total now, now to a negative eight. So total for the month for food, we're at negative eight, which actually, uh, considering what we're doing right now with food is where we are intentionally going over budget, um, just as, I, what, that sounds really bad. <laughs> what I mean by that is we're purchasing what we need and then I'm looking at, what, we're, okay, what I mean by that is we're purchasing what we need and want from the grocery store and I'm tracking uh, closely everything we buy and how much each thing costs. So going forward, when we're making our grocery list, we can actually plan out how much it's going to cost to get groceries, which is going to allow us to stick closer to that 150 budget. Okay, that's the ultimate goal. Goal is to get to that budget of 150, which is not an easy task. Okay, so gas. So we did end up getting gas this weekend for $40, so now that at zero, and today we're going to uh, add 20, so now we're back up to 20. Okay, miscellaneous, so that's what this is for, but I'm actually, I'm not going to put it there because I'm not going to deposit anything, and we're actually, I just want to keep track of what we're spending on miscellaneous uh, this month and next month, and I'm going to average it out to come up with a miscellaneous budget, but as I was saying earlier, like car wash could have come out of car maintenance. By the way, I didn't come up with these ideas. All of my amazing viewers helped me see this, that this could have come out of car maintenance. Um, the, the amount we paid for Logan stuff could have come out of birthdays. We didn't have money in the birthday envelope, but I don't know, it, it's a birthday expense, so somehow I could figure that out. And then I was also thinking later, like this could be part of our grocery budget, our cleaning supplies, or I could do a separate envelope for cleaning supplies. So anyways, I'm thinking, I was, I was thinking last week that I need a miscellaneous category because things come up that don't have a category, but then I realized looking closely at these items, they could fit into a category. I think there'll still be some things that are going to be miscellaneous in the future, but just tracking everything like this really closely is helping me understanding, um, helping me understand our spending habits and where we can make improvements. So anyways, Long story short, sorry, that was very long-winded. Uh, that's, I'm just gonna put that in there and then deposit this back into the bank. Instead of putting it, instead of designating it for miscellaneous, it's just going back into the fund, the family budget to help pay for everything. Okay, friends, so that was it for today's cash envelope stuffing. I am gonna be doing a savings challenge tomorrow, so I hope you will come back and check that out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.